Welcome to Lost in the Lakes, where you get brews, reviews, and best of all, views. Well, we're back out on another wild camp. This one is uh, quite local to where I'm at. Literally walked from my door. Testing out a new backpack. Um, Osprey Unlimited it is. Um, I'll be doing a review about it once I've used it a few times. And uh, yeah, it seems all right. It's a bit bigger than the last one. So I can get a bit more stuff in. It does mean you do pack more, so uh, it is heavier. But hopefully when we get up there, we've got everything I need. And uh, look at this, blue skies. It's been raining for the last two days. As soon as they decide to come out, we get blue sky. Now the wind hasn't calmed down, so we're still gonna have a wild night. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, find a bit of shade where I'm going. Right, I think I'm going to go off up into the woods here and uh, traverse round. Okay, we're climbing up a little bit higher now. Sun's still out, still getting some lovely views. And uh, we're getting close to the intended pitch. I say intended because the wind is blowing quite some you can hear it in the trees so uh, hopefully we'll get uh, pitched where I want to be if not we've got plenty of time to have a little look around see if there's any any second uh, second pitches we can look at but yeah if it wasn't for the wind it'd be absolutely gorgeous well, I mean, it is gorgeous, but yeah, there is a cold, still got a cold wind. It's gonna be five degrees tonight. So I've packed pretty much everything that I take on a winter camp. Uh, so uh, as I'm still kind of new to this game, I'm just taking everything just in case. Well, if anyone's noticed the difference, I've just realized I had an update on the camera and it uh, changed the settings. So I've put it back to a, a nice wide angle lens. This is what you're gonna put up with when you do camera work. But, I mean, beats being in the studio, doesn't it? Right, okay, I'm gonna, I can see the clouds up at the top there. So I'm going to go up to the top and get an idea how bad it is up there and then uh, work my way to find some sort of shelter. Okay, we're getting some sort of idea what the wind's like. 20, 30 mile an hour, something like that. So I'm going to have to try and find some shade. I've still got a bit of height to go as well to get over to the top. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think the wind will be similar to what I've got now. But we're just going to find some level place with shade. Right, it's a shame we can't camp on this side. We're going to get a lovely sunset, but as you can see, the wind's just too strong for my tent. I'm going to have a little look over here, but to be honest, I don't think, uh, I don't think there's any place in here where I can camp. No, there's nothing. Nothing at all, plus hellishly windy, so I'm not gonna bother. Right, my mic's decided not to connect to the camera, so sorry for the wind noise, but uh, it is what it is. I'll, <coughs> I'll sort it out later. But uh, I'm just <coughs> dropping down out of the wind now, so where I'm at now, it's quite shaded. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably the only chance I've had to film as well because I've been faffing on with this thing trying to connect it 
Uh, anyway, we'll uh, have a little look and see how to uh, reset the blasted thing. Right, I think we need to be over that way. Sorry for the sun in, the, in your eyes there. You'll probably hear me rattling the thing as well. I need to get it connected. Anyway, it's the reason why I bought this camera. Right, so we're just going to drop down and have a look at this first one. This is the highest pitch um, and quite possibly the only one that's going to be out of, out of the wind. Uh, just got to try and find a level point. Bring you back in a minute. Right, I think we've found a pitch. I'm gonna squat down for a while, have a sit down, and uh, try and sort this camera out. And then, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a breeze, but I think we're out of it. But, uh, out of the main part, anyway. So, right. Let's see if I can sort this cap this uh, mic. Well, we've got the blasted thing working. We're here. Um, that means we can come up over here where there's wind and actually talk. Because I just want to show you this view. Look at that. Rather than have me in it. There we go. Sun's just setting. For me anyway. Still a few hours of daylight left. We're going to have that view in the morning, hopefully, and the sun rising over there. Right, job done. Just sitting here chilling, watching the clouds go by. And just looking at all this here that's uh, available for camping. I mean, you could camp once a week on every one of them tops there. And that'll be a full summer. This is so much round here. And then you just got Blancastle off to the left there. Okay, so food set up tonight. We've got the usual uh, cook set up with the OEX uh, here. Is it Hyro, Hero, whatever it is? Up kit titanium mug. Uh, we've got for tea. We've got a chicken fajita uh, with rice, and then uh, for breakfast we've got. This uh, adventure food expedition breakfast. I would say that's quite wholesome, but we'll try it out anyway. Oh, and then we got this stuff. I haven't got any mugger mugger drinks because I forgot to get some, uh, but this should do for dying. Yeah, 
instructions wrong. These ones you add 300 and something mils to, and these are 200, but I've put 300 in it, so it's quite watery. So uh, hopefully it's going to be all right. Right, um, I'll let that sit. It says eight minutes, but it took a bit longer. So I'll let it sit for about 20 minutes. It's still hot when I had it. Um, considering I put too much water in it, um, it wasn't too bad. Um, very stewy, but that was my fault. Um, yeah, I'll give that a, maybe a seven out of ten. Yeah, quite nice. Fill in though, very fill in. Okay, so that's it, and we're off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, quite a good night. A bit windy and a couple of occasions, but uh, tent held up and uh, everything was fine. This tent pole, this uh, thing here that I put up to prop up the tent in windy conditions came down, but it was alright. Let's have a little look outside. Okay, so time to get packed up. Just had a little look outside, looking nice. And um, I'll tell you what, before I do all that, I'm gonna have a brew. Got one left. we go all been and gone there we go all done all packed away to where I was little flat bit there and uh, just thinking you know that's no more than two sheep in a field just sort of laying down which they do every night I've got a couple of sheep around Right, okay, that's me, yeah, again, I'm going to have to get used to this uh, witch angle, so in the middle of the night I sort of started sliding off and I had a dream that I was sliding away and uh, all it was was uh, just on a bit of an angle there. Right, time to head off, I think we're going to go back up over the top and meet all the Sunday morning walkers coming down. Now this bag's doing well. It's uh, quite comfortable. Just going up this uh, steep section here. I was worried about this uh, being so close to my head. Uh, but to be fair, it's quite a steep path this and uh, it's not too bad. 
I thought there'd be more people up this morning and but uh, there's not not a soul about at the minute there were a few people quite late on maybe till about half eight down this section uh, no one else wild camping anyway uh, this hill's probably not the best for for camping anyway so uh, there's only a couple of places when it's windy like this you can actually do it right okay we'll head on off to the top get our last views in for the day and then head off back down right well the winds died down a lot since yesterday just walking over the top here so much easier bit of a chill in the air though and there's some wee lammies these action cameras are not good for zooming up right up over the top here wind's picking up a little bit oh, I've left my gloves in my uh, bag and it's anyway I'll get up over here someone's put a little rock there to start start as a can I'll leave that there yeah I'll get over the top oh yeah yeah that wind chill's picking up a bit ah, just shows you with the wind chill how cold it gets my hands were perfectly fine the other side of the hill there when there was no wind now I'm bloody freezing anyway we'll get over here and then we can get down into the uh, wooded area where it'll be a bit warmer I thought I had a couple of motorbikes last night there's a track here and that's certainly not a mountain bike track I thought it was uh, maybe the farmer coming to check on his sheep right haven't seen a soul I thought I'd come over to this busy bit here I'd uh, see a few people I suppose it's still early on a Sunday morning it's quite clear Barra fell over there cat bells where are we at cat bells here and uh, many many other hills wind ladder actually the tops of wind ladder there are uh, just getting in a uh, cloud we we'll skid around at the top I would say we're probably looking at cloud level just under 2,000 feet just as you're coming up to Jenkins Hill up there um, that's about 2,000 feet so cloud level just enough for these lower fells cat bells is well clear you know I haven't sat on this bench for such a long time I'm gonna actually sit on it oh. This is this uh, this bench is uh, a 90th birthday tribute to Ronald Lupton of Keswick. Uh, di uh, died in uh, 23791. Well, no, so it was a 90th birthday. He didn't die. Hmm. There's a plaque on the back of here as well. Yeah, Ronald Morley Lupton. He died in 96. He was 95 years old. Good age. December 21st. So this bench was put up here for his 90th birthday. And, uh, and he died five years later. So he had a bench for five years of his life. Not bad. Not bad at all. Quite a small bench when you look at it. But... A well-used and quite a famous bench. 
made by Robin Hood Sawmill, which is, oh, you can't see it from here, but just on the backside of Dodwood, there. Right, all right, there's two people coming up. So we'll uh, disappear. Oh, three people coming up now. You can see kind of mosey on up. I'm gonna disappear down. I think I might take that little shortcut. Just when I'm walking down here, this tree, uh, I do like it. It's, uh, you know, different from the rest, you know, it just sort of stands out. Well, that's been another successful wild camp. Quite enjoyed that one. I was a bit apprehensive with the wind, um, but managed to find a place going out, you know, I was even thinking of not even bothering but uh, I'm so glad I did, so glad I made the effort. And uh, yeah, so this has been Lost in the Lakes and I'll see you in the next one.